All right, so here we are with our rear bumper that I have to cut for my dual exhaust. Here you can get all the instructions for that on the website where I got it from Los Miata. So going through all the instructions, I was able to come up with a little piece here that imitates the exact other side of the bumper. Kind of fits right in place here. You, that'll come with the printout of the instructions also, make it easier. So now that we got this, I taped it off a little bit and I have some, a little bit of outline so, exact, so I know exactly where I'm supposed to be cutting. So here I got a die grinder. Um, make sure you oil it up so you don't seize it up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this outline right here and then we can get started in putting the exhaust in. So I cut it out, kind of looks a little messy, but what you can do is my die grinder came with some kits for some grinding tools. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up and I'm going to finish this up right around the corner here and I can use our, a round file and kind of fix up the edges to make it look a little bit nicer. So I'll change out the bit on my tool and then we can get started on this piece. All right, so I just finished up grinding off the edges here, so it looks like a nice, even circle. So it looks pretty good. I don't have a half round file, but I do have this one. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go around the edges in the inside and kind of make sure I get all the, uh, all the uh, extra shavings off the sides. Not really much because I already got a lot of it out. rub in there make sure you get everything out besides that it looks pretty clean looks very nice so now that we got a nice clean cut here I'm gonna to go to putting the exhaust in and seeing how it looks afterwards all right so here I am I got some lubricant which is like WD-40 this Walmart's brand so first what we're going to do is we're going to unbolt these two bolts right here. Um, we're going to obviously use the penetrating fluid on that so we can loosen up the bolts a lot easier. And then we should have a grommet that holds right up there, that holds in the muffler. So we're going to take that off, take that one off, and there should be one more right in the back, um, right up there in the corner. So that'll be it, just to take off the muffler. Won't be that hard of a job. And then I have it right here, the dual tip cobalt muffler. So first I want to get started in trying to take these bolts out. All right, so I just got it off. Oh, it took a few minutes. So I had to use WD-40 to get the grommets off. It took a little bit of struggling to get them off, but it, they eventually came off. The other one's still up there in the top corner. So all we gotta do next is, here's our gasket that we gotta put in between, which will go in between the here and the muffler spot, which I have to actually take that one off next. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this apart and then what I'm gonna show you guys put me putting it in. 